For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a shorter clip of a Zoom class to make this process easier. Edit the text of your transcript looking for words that don't match what was said or the wrong homonym. You can use the find and replace or replace all to change words not appearing correctly. For instance, I prefer free write or free writing as one word instead of two, and that I've replaced all of these in the full length transcript. So I can go in here and delete an extra word. I can check for filler words that I use a lot. For instance, I'm really good at using the word so. And then I can jump down to a place where it's happened multiple times and then delete that part of the writing. And then once you're done with the editing, when you begin, you can also edit the speakers. So I know this is me and I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, I'm going to type my name. You can add any pronouns if you want. And then I'm going to edit my student who is speaking. This can take a little bit of time if you're doing a full length class and you have multiple students who are reading or speaking. Uh, this is a reminder to save your project every few minutes. And when you finish editing the tra transcript, you want to click this button that says create captions. You want to choose to leave all of the default settings here unless you know you're going to be using your recording in another country that often has different settings. Also, these defaults establish the correct subtitle file format. Check that Premiere is using two lines instead of a single line and then click create. In order to edit the captions, you must click on the caption track in the timeline, then click up here in the text, and then use the shift feature to hold down all of the tracks. Notice once I clicked on the caption track in the recording, this editing track appears over here on the side. As usual, the majority of the settings are perfectly, will work perfectly well for transcripts. I want to point out that the text feature usually works best using the up and down arrows. I'm going to stick with the default, which is Dahoma. And leave it center aligned. And of course, position it down at the bottom of the screen. But if you have a lot of text on your screen, you could certainly move it to a different area. The one, the one thing I would change on here is if you are using a background that is white, a shadow on your text is probably not going to do enough. So for instance, I use a lot of projecting of Google um, documents and uh, Canvas screens for my students. So I'm going to change this background to solid black and I'm going to increase the opacity to 100%. This will take a few moments to update. So don't worry if you can't see the changes immediately in your program. After those few moments, you can check your work by scrubbing over your tracks. Then save your project. Great work. Return for our next video on how to export your captioned video and embed it in a Canvas page.